Hey guys, it's me, Big B again. Um, just a follow-up video to my LG one yesterday or the day before, whenever I put it on, um, about Froyo 2.2. Some people have been asking a few questions, like how fast is it? Um, what about file managers and just certain things like that? Well, I'll do the best I can here. As you can see, with the new Froyo 2.2, I'm doing this backwards, so you'll have to excuse us. You get extra lock, unlock screens. You've got the phone, messaging, unlock, and sound. You, the added features of the new, the new thing. And as you can see, how fast that is. It's got the new transition effects on. As you can see, as I pull left and right, instead of just swiping left and right, you get animated effects. Now you can have different ones. You can set them to, to loads of different ones. That's the one I set. And as you can see, it's just flicking from screen to screen at lightning speed. There's no slowdown at all. And um, what I'll do is I'll show you another another effect. You just go into the, uh, the that that launch is the new ADW Launch X. If you do a search for it, you can find that, and it's it's an amazing amazing new launcher. And um, some of the animation effects you can do. Uh, uh, as you've seen there really really good so there I'll do another one this is uh, number six so as a swipe oh hang on I pressed too long like you say it's hard to do this when you're you're working backwards on yourself but I'll try my best there you go see how it tilts out try and get that best I can when you come back it tilt it pans it in spins it in rotates it in and that's one of the other effects as you can see that's rotating the whole screen on and off and there's no slowdown it's nice and fast and it doesn't matter how hard I flick look it goes at that speed it's like lightning when you go into your menus again click that straight in see how fast that was and that's menu and as you don't think you see it, it's bending it slightly at the top bending it in and out just like it does on standard Android so it's like a little 3d effect going off at the top and bottom um, Get rid of that. I'm trying pressing half a dozen buttons while I'm trying to do stuff, which, like I say, is uh, makes doesn't make it easy. If you press the home button, you get your just like you do on on Android 2.2. You get your four panels or your five panels, how many you've got on, and you basically just press the one you want, and that one zooms in. So I'll do that again. Try and get a better view of the screen because I've got glare from somewhere. There you go click your home buttons you go to whichever screen you want you can't do pinch to zoom like that but you can just click the home button and do exactly the same thing guys right in the menus you have got file manager you don't have to download anything else you've got a file manager built in you just click that a couple of seconds it loads up there's your list if you've got any APKs on on the, on the memory stick you can just install them straight from there don't have to mess on installing anything else easy as that now it does have the um, the benchmarker, the was it Lin Pack or Lion Pack or whatever. I'll run that and show you what I get. I'll just press and run. Try and get that as best I can. I'm getting some really bad glare from somewhere, and my camera isn't the world's best, so I apologise for that. But there's the benchmark running, and anybody who knows what thing it's M flops is the top one you're looking at. And I've got 9.212, and the highest I've had is 9.44. At the minute um, and I've only just sort of done this so it may get quicker as I'm using it now apps to SD works fantastic I put Angry Birds on and it's 16.1 megabyte when it was on the phone all you do just like normal Android 2.2 you can move to phone move to SD card I put move to SD card it moved it doesn't move all the data on anything it moves a majority of it so some games it might leave behind a couple of K, some it leaves a couple of megabytes. With Angry Birds it was 16.1 and it moved all of it by about 1.4, 1.5 megabytes. So it still moved 14 megabytes off the phone on the SD card. And what I'll do is I'll run that for you. Angry Birds there just to show you that it does work. Hope I clicked that. I probably didn't. I probably just knocked it off. Oh no I did. I ran it. You see, it's very hard to work when you're working backwards on yourself. And this is running from SD card. This also has um, overclock, like I said in my, my first video. Click there. So, under load, 
I'll just turn that around so I can see it because I think I'm on level two. Under load, it's at 800 megahertz. So there's the thing. I'll just see what I can do. With that. Pull that. This will not be a very good shot. I'm telling you now. Yeah, really bad shot. But you can see. Best I can show you, I'm afraid. Um, I wish I had a better camera to be honest, but I don't. It's really smooth and it just works and it scrolls and it, it, that, that's from SD card and it's working fine. And like I explained in the other video, you don't have to do anything with the SD card. You don't have to reformat it in any special way like you do with the apps to SD on um, Android 2.1. You've got to format it in three different partitions and mess on and a lot of people can't get it to work, which I couldn't when I did it. This works with no messing about. It's just a standard formatted FAT32, whatever the phone formats it to, single partition, and it just installs straight away. There's a setting you've got to go into, into the, the settings of the phone. There's, um, a, this is the Synergy ROM, and they've got their own settings, and one of the settings is to allow movement of data from phone to SD card. You must switch that on. If you don't, it won't do it. It's just a single tick, just like any other setting in the phone. You go and turn that on. You can even tell it where you want it to go automatically. You can get stuff to install automatically SD card. I don't do that because some of the programs I don't want to go on SD card. I want them running off the phone, some of the smaller ones. Um, so that works flawlessly. Also another feature is, turn the phone up. It's in landscape, obviously normal landscape. But if you turn it, it also works perfectly like that and again you can see the animation still flips out even though we in landscape mode not portrait mode and you just turn the phone oop, turn it the right way even and then you go back and you've got your animations again and I, I love those little animations they really really add to it and as you can see like I say it, it's really fast another cool feature which I like which I explained in the other video you got an icon there if you click it and hold it you get three little menus pop up and they remove, edit, or uninstall. So you can uninstall that program direct from the main screen without having to go into the settings, because a lot of times you've got to go into the settings and go into settings, manage applications, manage applications, find it in the list and uninstall it, or run the market again and do it like that. You can do it straight from the home screen. You can edit it, which means you can change the text like you do on an iPhone, so you can, that's called talk. You can have it talk, talk. You can just rename it to anything you want just remove it as if you were dragging and dropping it to the trash can but that uninstall feature from there is really cool and I really really do like that the fact you can just uninstall it straight from that home screen without having to mess on and go anywhere else which was a bit of a, a pain to be honest um, it again it was just simple simple going into a few settings but those settings when you've got to go three and you can just do it one so works fine and again as I explained the camera the camera doesn't work at the minute which is a shame but again the camera wasn't a big deal for me I've sacrificed having the camera for having that apps to SD working because blimey it was a pain trying to get it to work on 2.1 works flawlessly on here so any 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 sort of questions like like I've said and people have asked the speed you can see the speed there I know my camera's not fantastic but that's not just swiping left to right like I say that's actually animating in 3D and you saw it spinning on the other one and it's light and fast and I've tried it without the overclock on and it's still fast it's because I've got it overclocked by 200 megahertz doesn't really make that much difference um, to the to the front end and the animation it makes a big difference in the overall operation of the phone obviously because you're 200 megahertz faster and some of your games lick along a bit better but as far as that front end's concerned and I suppose if you've put this ROM on you've got the overclocking feature so put your set your set CPU on and overclock it anyway because that's what feed, it's built into the phone so to, to sort of wrap it up really fast really fast a lot faster than two point run really slinky get that new front end on AWDW launcher even X it's called EX you can search for that you can get it on Apple net if you don't want to pay for it um, and it just works beautifully guys absolutely beautifully I've had no trouble with it obviously I said at the beginning me 3G settings were all over the place I forgot I had to re put the APN settings in myself unlike 
the official 2.1 but that took us once I found them on the internet that took us two seconds to inst install them so I've got now 3G and everything working just at the minute no Bluetooth no camera but that's not a big deal for me and they're going to fix that anyway in later revisions which they work on all the time but the silky smoothness of that that's basically I've had the HTC Desire and I've had the Galaxy S and even though this is just a cheap phone that's just a smooth guys like I say as you can see it's just beautiful to use nice and easy if I can hit it menu button again straight in hit it again animated straight out so I'm going to leave it there guys because we've gone over the 10 minutes that's just a little bit of explanation on how it's been the last couple of days and how things has worked it's really worth it guys if you're not bothered about the camera and you're not too fussy about the Bluetooth yet everything else seems to work fine I would recommend it just for the install an apps to SD card alone it's well worth it so if you've got any more questions guys just leave us a message and I'll try and do my best to get back to you and if anything else happens or there's an update to the ROM I'll let you know and if you want a link to the the site to get this ROM and how to put it on that's in my first video which you can link to uh, just go to me channel and you can find it there okay guys thanks a lot